Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Al Firani, and I'm part of Wick family. Salam. My name is Riza, and I'm part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. My name is Medina, and I am a part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Ramzan. I am part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ala Pampa, and I am part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aisha Aziz, and I'm part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Harith Waqar, and I'm part of the Wick family. Salam, my name is Hamida, and I'm part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Absatu, and I'm part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zubair Magnum, and I'm a part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mariam Benmus, and I'm part of the Wick family. Salam, my name is Hadiya, and I'm part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saqib Sayyid. I'm part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khadija and I am part of the Wick family. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Habiba Badmas and I'm a part of the Wick family. First of all, I want to welcome all of you who have made Wick Worcester Islamic Center as part of their home. I have been affiliated with Worcester Islamic Center since the day it was established as a volunteer, as a board member and as a president. Being part of the administration, my goal was to make our center financially viable and a beacon of knowledge for our community. Alhamdulillah, we have succeeded in it. We have maintained, improved and launched several programs, including Fiqh and Arabic classes, Friday night halakas, Quran hifs and Nazra classes, Sunday school, Wick social services, matrimonial services, WIC free clinic. We have robust youth activities and active interfaith and outreach program. We have been established the first Islamic funeral home in the state of Massachusetts and have a very active and generous annual community Ramadan Iftar program. Our long-term goals are to strengthen WIC as an institution, to adopt a model of team approach and to establish an endowment. I am extremely thankful to all the volunteers, our Imam, Imam Asif Hirani, our board members for their dedication and devotion as without their support, we will not be here where we are today. I am proud to be part of Worcester Islamic Center and I am confident that one day our center will be one of the most vibrant Islamic centers in America, inshallah. As an Imam, I always wanted to lead Worcester community more like a hospital and less like a court because in hospital you heal people and in court you judge people. So I always wanted to heal people. I always wanted to welcome people from all different backgrounds, whether they are practicing or non-practicing Muslim, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim, regardless of their faith, they are always welcome in Worcester Islamic Center. I have seen many other communities. I have been Imam of many other communities and they all were great communities. But this community is one of the most amazing community I've ever seen. The vision at WIC is far reaching to bring people of all ages all backgrounds, all degrees of practice together in service to our communities and to Allah. WIC is open to non-Muslims and Muslims of all schools of thought. This is a house of Allah for everyone. WIC offers a variety of religious and social services alike. We're active in performing social and relief work in the greater Worcester area, and we aim to be an exemplary masjid for the entire New England community. We invite you to be a part of our family and to join us in expanding our impact through our multiple programs. The Worcester Islamic Center is very inclusive of women. It has many female members on the executive committee who help make decisions for the masjid every day. WIC has done an excellent job of making women feel welcome and included at the masjid. Many masajids have a very small prayer area for women and it's most often located at either at the back of the masjid or in the basement. At WIC, women have an equally large space to pray as the men. WIC provides men and women with an equal opportunity to be a part of the masjid. Alhamdulillah, we have WIC Evening Hifs program with more than 70 students enrolled in our Hifs and Nazar program. 
This allows them to memorize the Quran without missing regular school. We also have an active matrimonial committee where we help people get married. Wick is the only masjid in the entire New England area with funeral home license. We have an active funeral committee to help our community with the process of washing, shrouding, as well as burial. Family, today I'm here to tell you about the recent initiative the Wick Youth Group took to help the elderly folk of the greater Worcester area. They delivered grocery items, medical supplies, food items, and cleaning supplies to various elderly folk who were in need throughout the greater Worcester area for both Muslims and non-Muslims. This allowed for the elderly folk who were in need not to put themselves at risk by going into the grocery stores or any various other stores to per be purchasing these items. We have helped over 30 individuals and families so far and we continue to help, help more every day, inshallah. We hope to see you soon after this is all over. Assalamu alaikum. Sunday School is one of the many programs offered by the Wick Masjid. There are three available courses, Arabic, Quran, and Islamic Studies. It takes place every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. After the COVID-19 outbreak, Sunday School was quick to move its programs online using the Zoom platform. Every Sunday, we register an attendance of around 40 students and more than 10 teachers. They are currently organized in seven classrooms with a special focus on Quranic studies, including online Quran competitions. Alhamdulillah, our masjid is extremely fortunate to not only be directly connected to an Islamic school, but to also have strong relationships with other Islamic schools in the nearby area. And as someone who went to an Islamic school a majority of her elementary and middle school years, I can attest to the importance of this. Now, the reason for that is because as a masjid, we are able to ensure that we are not only creating a safe space for the youth during an extremely critical time in their lives, but we're also able to ensure that the leaders of our masjid today can instill strong Islamic values in the leaders of the future generation. As lead coordinators of the WIC Youth Sisters Group, our mission is to foster long-lasting relationships among young Muslim women through bonding activities and events. We hold monthly events where we engage in activities and open discussion to bring youth sisters closer to Allah. Alhamdulillah, past events have included everything from bowling to painting to dodgeball. Our events have attracted at least 45 Muslim girls. The WIC community allows us to empower youth sisters and bring them together. Alhamdulillah, we have run many successful events uh, and activities for the youth, such as a trip to Boston, Niagara Falls, bowling, Washington, D.C., and also skiward. And Alhamdulillah, right, currently we, uh, we also provide weekly Saturday night halakas and slash discussions to create a special bond between all the youth. And our motive is to provide a non-judgmental environment for our youth, so we welcome everyone and anyone. And the youth take a weekly tarbiyah and mentorship class taught by our very own Imam Asif as well where he teaches us leadership and skills from an Islamic perspective. Jazakallah khair. I'm also part of the Fuqah class taught by Imam Asif and offered here at Worcester Islamic Center. Because this class is so important, there are around 100 students from different backgrounds and ages that attend this class. Not all masjids have these classes to offer, so it is a blessing, alhamdulillah, that we have him here at WIC. The Friday night halakha is held in the masalla almost every Friday. On average, 300 people attend this halakha. A variety of topics are covered, informing the community on how to become better Muslims and people. The dinner afterwards promotes socializing and is always a blast. The WIC Free Clinic, which is part of the WIC Social Services Program, is here to serve the Worcester community, Muslims and non-Muslims. The young, the old, insured, uninsured, immigrants, and citizens. At the Worcester Islamic Center Free Clinic, we offer several services including viral checkups, physicals, and second opinions. Good morning. I'm Mark Nelson. I'm pastor at Salem Covenant Church on, on Mountain Street in Worcester. And it is my privilege today to bring greetings to the Worcester Islamic Center. But I also wanted to take opportunity to say thank you to you for the sharing of your Imam. He is one of incredible intellectual capabilities, but he is also one who has tremendous depth of, of soul, which you know, and you are the beneficiaries of. He is a great colleague to the Worcester Interfaith 
community and we are um, blessed with his presence with us. And how incredibly fortunate Salem is to be namers of the Islamic Center. How incredibly fortunate we are to be good friends. And so blessings on this day to, to all of you. During the last two, three years, we've seen tremendous growth in WIC in the number of programs we offer, number of musallis, the number of youth who come to the masjid, as well as a lot of activities in sports, especially cricket, basketball, and soccer. This would not have happened if we hadn't thought of finances strategically. We retired bank loan through Karde Hasana two years ago, and that was the right step. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put a lot of baraka after that. We cannot stop here. It is time we hire admin and building manager to relieve the load on the committed volunteers. And we always appreciate your time, your talent and treasure. We look forward to welcoming you to be part of the WIC family. Jazakumullah.